Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, and today on Ride Tested, we're talking quad lock. Let's go. Over to our left, you'll see the Revzilla showroom. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? You know, I was just zipping around and I realized how much I've used my quad lock phone mount in so many applications on so many different bikes. I was just like, well, I should just shoot a little right test it on it because it is such an incredible system. It's so, so simple. It's so effective. It's cost effective, I think, and they have a variety of different accessories to fit a variety of different lifestyles. Whether you're a mountain biker, you're a runner, you want a car mount, maybe you want a desk mount for your phone. Like, They pretty much have everything you could think of covered. I even have a mount for my scooter mirror. So they've got you covered in all kinds of different aspects of life. So I do like that, but I like the system. I like the actual setup. It's so easy. If you see here, there's this little black tab. Press down on that and then boom, now my phone's released. And if you take a closer look, that's the setup. That's the locking mechanism. It's that four pin, it's like a circular four pin design right here. And it's very straightforward. And underneath that, I actually have the uh, anti-vibration mount underneath that right here, as you can see. And it gives it that little bit of movement. So it might look a little strange. I'll go ahead and just mount this straight up here might be a little bit tougher there we go it might look like the phones moving around quite a bit right you can kind of see it wiggling around but that's on purpose it's designed that way to absorb the vibrations aka anti-vibration because what happens is as your engines vibrating your handlebars are vibrating especially if you think about Harleys it can actually shake the camera and damage the phone and the camera itself and actually Apple uh, put out a press release about that specifically so Quadlock, they were ahead of the game. They already had an anti-vibration system in place because everyone knew this well before Apple made that press release. I think they were quite a few years late on that one, but uh, actually ended up happening to my, uh, my iPhone 8 because of the vibrations on the bike. It ended up ruining the camera, but now I've got the 13 Pro and I use this Quadlock with the anti-vibration on a T7 and I rode in a variety of different terrains. I was jumping the T7. I was, uh, there was a little MX track at camp for the uh, Get On Adventure Fest. Like right down the road, there was like this little mini MX track that was a lot of fun. So we were jumping it. We were riding through uh, rocks and deep sand and I dumped the bike a handful of times. We were doing a bunch of wheelies, especially Zach. He, uh, he's definitely got me beat when it comes to the wheelies. The point is we were all using quad locks and they worked phenomenally none of us had issues none of our you know phones flew off of the quad lock or got damaged when we tipped over the bikes or anything like that no one's cameras were ruined because we all had the anti-vibration set up on there it works so well and it's so stinking simple you know if i take this phone off here it's just one allen key that's the only thing on the bike right there there's just that one Allen key and it's so simple to remove and transfer to other bikes, which I often have to do because I'm hopping around on different machines and testing out different gear. So it's nice for me to be able to hop off the bike and just know I need that one little Allen bolt and I'm good to go. They give you the other accessories you need to accommodate a variety of different handlebars and things like that. So if you get this main mount system in the box, it'll come with those accessories to, to accommodate different widths and different handlebars and things like that. The anti-vibration, you'll have to purchase separately. And if you're getting a smartphone, I highly, highly recommend doing so, so you don't ruin your camera. Um, but I spoke to that enough, but it is very, very effective. The other thing I wanted to note is that if you ride in inclement weather, they do have some water resistant cases. And then they technically, they do have a poncho as well. Not really a huge fan of the poncho setup. But the point is they have a very strong adhesive mount. So if you have your own proprietary case that you enjoy using on your phone, you don't want to use uh, the proprietary quad lock case, you don't have to. Just get that adhesive mount and then it's gonna work with everything. And it is very, very strong. My buddy Pat, who you might've seen in a lot of the product videos that we shoot in the studio, he's usually modeling, looking all cute and handsome. 
That was, that was a choo-choo train. But he has the sticky mount and the adhesive on the back of his phone because he has his own case that he likes and it's waterproof, all that jazz. Um, and he used that. All of Gove was on a KLR650 and no issues whatsoever. So yeah, you can go with the adhesive mount and keep your own case and you're still good to go. And you've still got all the same versatility uh, that you want with the quad lock setup and all the accessories that they actually have. Additionally, you know, I probably mentioned a lot of this in the product video, but I'm still just, I'm so gung ho about quad lock and how easy it is to use, having used so many different options. But yeah, they have the wireless charging uh, as well. So you can actually, when you have your phone locked in place, I don't have it on me because I transfer too many bikes. So I don't usually bother with it too much, but I do have it. I should install it on this because this is my main commuter to the office, but it just mounts right on top of this basically and then your phone goes on top of that and yeah it just it charges your phone while you're riding around and you don't have any cables or anything really exposed it looks very clean very nice and i think i just appreciate it so much because i did test a lot of it you know i use tech and i use ram mounts i use some other brand names i don't even remember quite a few different things off amazon and this by far has been my absolute favorite setup because of the simplicity it's effective and they've got everything thought out about the additional accessories that they uh that they put out there and provided for people to use so if this helps anyone out if anyone's just looking around and like you know what i'm trying to figure out a good way to uh to mount my phone to the bike hopefully this helps someone out don't go through all the different options i tested and used just go with a quad lock and you'll be happy <laughs> and i'm usually not this like this is the best you know like i don't try to do that because i test way too much stuff and i think a lot of stuff is generally pretty good but yeah this is hands down my favorite and i i telling you go quad lock you won't regret it if you've got any questions always hit me up happy to help out if i can as always Keep it pinned. Woo! <laughs>